Is it a bagger? It is a Rebel, and it has two clutches inside of it. How does that work? This is the Honda Rebel 1100, shown here as the touring option. This motorcycle comes with a standard manual motorcycle or with Honda's DCT. The Honda Rebel 1100 is a 1,083cc six-speed parallel twin engine with ABS, cruise control, and it's close to 100 pounds lighter than similar competitors. With a low seat height of 27 and a half inches, this makes this ride pretty comfortable and approachable for riders of all sizes and abilities. Although I'm not saying that your first motorcycle should be over a thousand cc's. In fact, the Honda Rebel line has some other options for that. However, with a starting price of around 10,000, throw on a fairing and some bags and you've got yourself an interesting looking Honda at a pretty low price. That's great, but not really why I'm here. In fact, I wanna talk about the two clutches inside this motorcycle. DCT stands for dual clutch transmission. There are actually two clutches in this motorcycle working together seamlessly shifting for you. The idea is that one clutch is responsible for the odd gears and the other for the even ones. The transmission then will seamlessly shift between the two clutch packs as needed, thus creating a smoother ride. You can also shift and override it using the shift buttons. It's still shifting like a motorcycle to maximize power, not one gear like electric vehicles. Honda's DCT has been around for years. You know what else has been around for several years? Law Tigers, America's motorcycle lawyers making sure that you get the compensation that you deserve should you ever be injured in a motorcycle accident. They've got years of experience and make sure that you call them if you're ever injured before your insurance company so they can help you out. Jumping back into this transmission here. So if you're touring or commuting in thick traffic, DCT may be worth a try for the added comfort and ease of riding. However, if you are someone that finds yourself constantly draining batteries and trying to bump start a motorcycle, or you wanna do some fancy shifting and engine braking, maybe stick with a manual and maybe throw on a quick shifter. Other OEMs have tried to come up with their own versions. However, Honda is actively using it across several models in their lineup, including the Africa Twin and Goldwing. Personally, I've been able to ride the Africa Twin and I've gotta say at times off-road, it almost feels like you're cheating as the transmission will make sure that you don't stall the bike in a tricky situation. For on-road riders, this could be applied greatly to avoid that clunking of the passenger's helmet, frying your clutch hand in a long traffic situation or perhaps the Sturgis Parade, and on steep hills, it can step in and make sure that you don't stall the motorcycle. What do you think? Leave it in the comments, yay or nay. There are also some helpful links in the description. My name is Alyssa and I will see you in the next one.